Maybe because I lived in the internment camp first three years of my life and my brain was formed there, I have this uh, fascination with people and a great um, love for people. Uh, my mother in particular was such a uh, loving, caring person. And uh, so uh, to me, you know, what I learned in camp was um, the um, humility, the modesty, the resilience, the uh, strength of uh, Japanese Americans who were interned. And, uh, and I've said this before, but the people I admire most in my life have been the Issei farmers that I knew in camp and after we uh, got out. And my parents were, had many of those Issei farmers in their churches. Uh, I've never encountered um, a more generous uh, and more um, resilient group of people uh, uh, and modest in my life. So, you know, um, I grew up admiring modesty, uh, uh, strength, resilience, determination, uh, industry. And I saw that all in the Issei farmers. Um, and in my life, you know, I've met at Stanford <laughs> so, so many Nobel Prize winners and, you know, our programs have worked with uh, heads of states, uh, US, Japan, Asia, but I really, uh, there's no question, the people I admire most in my life are those Issei farmers and the older Nisei soldiers who went to war uh, while their families were being incarcerated. Um, so I, I, I'm so proud of those uh, people. And um, that, that's why I, I've had this, uh, desire always to meet more people and each person is so interesting. I don't always remember their names, that's, <laughs> that's a problem, but uh, I usually remember who they are, uh, not necessarily their names, but uh, the kind of people they were. And if I met them at Stanford, they were in my class, I usually remember them and have stayed in touch.